What's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new tutorial for Ableton Live. Today you're going to learn exactly how to use MIDI inside of Ableton. Let's jump right in! Okay, so let's create a MIDI track. All you have to do is right click, insert MIDI track. Find a cool sound that you like and drag and drop it straight into the MIDI track. Highlight an area, right click, insert MIDI clip. Then you'll be able to see the piano roll and we can start making music! At the top there, you can sort of expand it and let it go up and down. There's also a magnifying glass so you can zoom in and out. That headphone button there, if you click it, you'll be able to hear all the sounds on the piano roll. If you click it off, you won't be able to hear the sounds on the piano roll. Press the B button so you can be able to insert notes into the piano roll. Highlight a note, you can click on it, expand it, make it smaller. There's also fixed grit, which you can access by right clicking on the piano roll. That way you can choose the length of the notes that you want to draw in the piano roll. So when you highlight the notes, right click and you get a whole bunch of different options. You can duplicate, or even if you just press Ctrl D, you can duplicate notes that way. When you highlight the notes, you can move them up and move them down the scale. If you press shift and up, it will go up an octave. If you press shift and down, it will go down an octave. You can highlight a clip just by clicking on it. And then you can also do the duplication trick there as well. Another quick tip is highlighting all the clips together. You could press command J and that will join all the clips into one clip. Back in the MIDI panel, if you highlight all the notes, then you can affect the velocity. The lower the velocity, the quieter the sound will be. The higher the velocity, the higher the sound will be. You can mess around with that and make sounds sound more realistic that way. On the side panel, you can click loop so it locks it in those bars. And also there's a legato option, so basically what legato does is it changes the length of the note so it connects to the next note. There's also a reverse option, which will reverse the order of the notes, and an inversion option, which is pretty cool. There's also options to half the length of the notes and also duplicate the length of the notes. There's also the ability to change the time signature in the side panel, which is pretty cool. When you highlight your notes, you can also deactivate them or press zero. So when you're messing around, sort of writing, you can deactivate some notes and then put them back in later. There's also the folding option, which is really useful when you want to just focus in just the notes that you are using in the clip. So you highlight notes, click the fold, and it will only appear with those notes. Another thing that you can do is you can create a folder just for these chord progressions that you like and drag and drop them straight there. What will be saved is not only the clip, but also the sound that goes with the clip, which is really useful when you can just create a whole bunch of different clips and then search for songwriting inspiration later. When you've connected a MIDI device into Ableton, you want to go into your preferences and select your control surface under these preferences. Or you could even just hear your keyboard on your computer by pressing M and C will start on the A button and you can literally just work up the scale on your computer keyboard. If you're not hearing any sound at all, check on your channel and see if the auto button is clicked or if it's off, you won't be able to hear anything. Click auto if you want to hear something. To record a MIDI clip, just select your channel that you want to record on and click that circle button it will turn red and that means it will start recording and you can start inputting notes after you've recorded you can highlight the clip select how many bars you want consolidate then let's say your notes are out of time so what you can do is you can right click and quantize you can also go into your quantization settings and affect how you would like your notes to be quantized then you can listen back just by pressing the space bar Thank you so much for watching this video on how to use MIDI in Sound of Ableton Live. If you want to learn more about music production, I've got plenty of videos on my channel for you guys to check out. Hope you have a beautiful day and stay safe and make some sick music. See you later.